What's up, YouTube? Bringing you another one. So, not sure if I'm adding this to a video or if it's going to be its own video. But we got Von Tukut and RKs pulling up on me. And um, we're going to have a good conversation today. I, don't, I honestly just want to like see my boys have a fun little conversation and um, talk some shit that need to be talked about. You feel me? Like, talk some shit that need to be talked about. You feel me? And um, I'm excited to do this. Uh, I love making content. I love making videos. I love making art. I love just making things that matter, that helps people. Um, I'm fasting today. I have to keep reminding myself I'm fasting. Like, I be forgetting that I'm fasting. So all I'm doing right now for today is just water. Just water. Just water. <laughs> like, let me drink some water right now. Just water. That's all my body can get. Is it okay to smoke weed while you fast? Or should I just not even do that? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm fasting today, y'all. I'm excited to do this shit. Um, I'm grateful. And uh, honestly, I think this is about to be... Uh, I think this is about to be big. You feel me? So, let's see what we do today. Yeah. All right, bet. Yeah, That's good. hard. So, yeah, so, like, I was talking to bro yesterday, right? And it was crazy because, like, like, what you're saying, pretty much I realized, like... First of all, it's, it's so important, like, when you a kid to understand, like, what you're watching. And, like, especially when you got kids, like, make sure that they not watching certain movies that's going to program them in a certain way. It was this one movie that I used to always watch when I was seven years, like, not even seven years old. For the first seven years of my life, it's called Sinbad. It's like a, it's like a, you know that movie I'm talking about? Oh, my gosh, you know the movie I'm talking about, bruh. And it's crazy because I cracked the code, like, like, in Sinbad, that was one of my favorite movies. I used to watch this shit all day. What's that some number right there say? Oh my 28? gosh. 28. What the that's fuck crazy. is this shit haunting me? Hey, that shit crazy. <laughs> that shit haunting me, bro. That Ever shit crazy. Hey, so look, it was like a movie I used bro, to always watch. It was called like Sinbad. And if like if like pretty much in the movie, like it was a pirate and he had like a good heart. He was a real nigga, but he used to steal from the rich though. You feel mm -hmm. me? And it was like I grew up with that type of mentality of like looking at the rich like they bad and shit. So it was like I always wanted to steal from niggas with money. I used to do that shit all the time. Like if a nigga was in school, he looked like he had more than me. I used to like plot ways on how to like get money from him and shit, like how to finesse him and shit. So it's like I always grew up with this narrative of like looking at motherfuckers with money, like, okay, like I wanna steal from you. But that make you broke because that's some broke nigga shit you see mm -hmm. what i'm saying because it's like you is that person with money mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so i'm looking into the mirror like i'm off of shrooms last night i'm looking in the mirror and shit and i'm like yo like you whole time this mentality of you trying to be on some robin hood shit is really some broke <laughs> nigga shit for real like like you take it from yourself these mm -hmm. motherfuckers worked hard for their money and you trying to take from them like what the fuck and then more than likely most motherfuckers that are broke like i don't want to hear excuses and shit like that more than likely they're just programming that certain way and then they make excuses and they really just don't want to work for shit you mm -hmm. see what i'm saying like really want to put in their work hey. with their mental Exactly, because like it's like motherfuckers don't understand like they actually get a lot of money. It's not about how much physical work you put in. You got to put in that mental work. Like you got to get paid from your mind. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? It's not about the physical labor work. Yeah, you work 12 hours. You work 12 hours every day. Okay, but that's physical labor work. How much How much work do you put in your mind? So that's one thing I was realizing. Like it's like you just got to really just start. And that's another thing too. I told him like, bro, I'm about to pay a hypnotist. Real talk. Because like mm -hmm. I remember I took fucking shrooms and shit. And then I got hypnotized by this fucking painting on the wall and shit. That shit was talking to me i was in front of a painting with mansa musu and that shit was talking to me like yo you see him right there yeah you got way more money than motherfucking i'm just like okay this shit just in my head like i ain't even paying attention to this shit then like i try to look off do some other shit that shit called me back like it was like some ancestor shit that shit said look 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 i'm talking to you look i'm like what the fuck so now i'm locked in like i'm off like of like three grams of shrooms right Damn, Boom, I'm, yeah hey i'm locked in i'm locked into this grams? shit yeah, that shit, that ain't shit. I took like 10 grams before. Like, boy, I'm, I'm locked in off of like three Where grams of shrooms. Where you trying to go, bro? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was locked the fuck in. I was locked the fuck in. So, boom, that shit talking to me like, you need to stop acting a certain way you be doing. You need to understand your beauty. You the richest motherfucker in the world. Like, mm -hmm. you need to take your power. Like, that shit just saying some real ass shit and it's just hypnotizing me. It said the same shit over and over for like 20 minutes. I'm in the room. Just, just saying this shit for 20 minutes. So, then, boom. After that shit, like, I was like, damn. Like, I read with this book called Psycho Cybernetics and shit. You know that book? Nigga, I think I told you about yeah, that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that shit. I Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, I got like, I got... 
psycho psycho cybernetics. You talk about your self image and shit because mm-hmm. everything like psycho, that's what I was cyber, psycho cybernetics. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was telling you yesterday, bro. Like, like everything is based on your self image. Like a motherfucker. Like I get, and this is the same example I gave arcades. It's like, okay, imagine you going for find a room. And it's a people with billions of dollars in that room. Like, it's a whole bunch. Of, it's Fuck millionaires. No, it's billionaires in this room. If you walk into that room and you feel like you don't belong, if you walk into that room, you feel anxiety, you feel like, oh, shit, like, you know what I'm saying? These are a lot mm-hmm. of rich niggas. It's like, that's because you look at yourself like a broke nigga. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, you are you don't have Literally confidence yourself. in yourself. Exactly. It's about how you view yourself. Because you can never be a rich man if you don't view yourself as a rich man. Mm. You're right, right? Yep. And that's another thing, too, is about your confidence. Like, that's why confidence is one of the most important things when it comes to gaining wealth because if you don't have confidence you're never going to be wealthy it's mm. never going to happen like like you might look at motherfucker like elon musk or bill gates you might be like okay like them motherfuckers how the motherfuckers confident mm. i i bet my life on it that elon musk confident is fucking tesla like i bet my life on it bill gates confident as fuck when it comes to microsoft so it's like you got to be confident when it comes to your business that just is what it is or what you provide to people or just financially you got to be confident in yourself yeah you could be confident in the gym cool you could be confident when it comes to the bedroom but are you confident Confident when it comes to finances, right? So that's what it's about. It's about being confident financially. And that's the only way you're gonna be able to be wealthy. Even as an artist, like if you're not confident in your music, when you go on stage, they're gonna be seeing the energy and feeling it like, oh, you don't even like you don't even believe in this shit for real. Like, hell nah, you feel me? So it's about your confidence for real. Right. But hell yeah. And, how, and so how so that's what money like as a woman. She like confident. Money, Facts. money, money is a woman. Money is a woman. So, I mean, look at the word money and then look at mother. It both start with M-O, mm. right? What you got to understand is that men like to get what? Money. And they like to get women. Mm. Right? So, what you got to understand is that in order to get the women, you can't be, Hey, yo, mom. Hey, yo, mom. I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get you the bag. I'm trying to get... Like, the bag don't look at you like, relax, bro. Like, I can tell this is your first time being here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, relax, bro. Like, be smooth. Like, have you been here before? Like, act like you've been here before. Act like you had some money before. But the fact that you keep acting like this some new shit to you, like, it's going to always be an experience that you're trying to get Facts. instead of an experience that you've already had. So, you can't do things for money out of fear of not having money. You get what I'm saying? Facts. Don't make decisions out of fear. Don't make decisions out of fear because the moment that you don't give space for that woman to come into your life and flirt back with you because you trying to take control like you ain't never gonna really see how she feel for you if you always talking you ain't never gonna see how she really feel for you if you always trying to touch her let her try to come on to you let her flow with you you feel me? everybody like i'm trying to today i'm going out today i'm trying to i'm going on a shirt like that's not how you find love facts so why would you go try to, you know what i'm saying like you find love by doing what you love to do and then you fuck around and find that girl while you doing what you love to do. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, that's how it is. You you, you make music, so you at this event, you at this event. You was on your purpose, that's how you found her. So if it's with money, you was on your purpose, that's how you found her. You get what I'm saying? You got to tell money that she love you. Sometimes you got to tell, girl, you know you love me. <laughs> Stop playing, you know you love me. I love you too, though, girl. I love you too. That's an affirmation. You feel me? Like, you know you love me, money. Stop playing, you know I'm going to spend you well. I be talking to money. Like it's a frequency. I be talking to it. Girl, I'm not worried about you. Let me let you cool off. Let you do your thing. Like people so, so, so money, 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 money. And it's like even a nigga that got money, 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 money ain't thinking money, 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 money. Like how you thinking money, money, money. Some niggas are like, damn, what we finna do today? What we finna eat today? You don't want to try this new space. But but people are so afraid of being in lack that they want to try to overcompensate does that make sense like when a nigga want a woman it's like he trying to do so much he's overcompensating and it comes off as like you doing too much and that's why you got to program your mind Mm -hmm. facts and that's why you got to program your mind because i realized like it's really in actuality there's no such thing as a negative thought or a positive thought. It's either a survival thought or it's a thrival thought. So it's like, that's why people be like, okay, why is it so much easier to think about negative thoughts? Why Why is it like that? Because you have a human brain and the human brain is naturally built mm-hmm. on survival, and, right? And I feel like if, as a man, I feel like sometimes it's easy for a woman to, to, to make money too, especially because y'all be like, hey, like, uh, she got it from this man, she got it from this man. Well, the problem is, is that sometimes men have to work on their own feminine energy because 
to That's make realist. to make but. money is to know how to receive some people feel like, like some men feel like they got to work hard for everything. And that's why it's hard for you to receive. Because you so don't know real. how to receive and be grateful and just be okay. You don't always have to do something. That's the problem. That's too real. You don't always got to do something, bro. Like, relax, that's receive, why breathe, 33, 7. 33, yeah. um, know that it's coming. You know what's so real about that? Like, I had somebody in my meet and greet. This was, like, in this middle of the summer. He literally told me, because he was, like, he was, like, a medium in a sense. He literally told me, he was, like, hey, like, I want to let you know, you got to heal, like, your feminine side, and you're going to start receiving abundance. This nigga just said that shit out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Like, he really said that shit, man. That's why that shit is so real. I like mean, think about it, 28. Yeah, damn, two, that's crazy. Eight. Two, eight, 28. Two is feminine. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, <laughs> bruh. So like, okay, so like, look, any like, okay. say, let's say somebody watches this right, or like, even fuck that man, me, like, how how could I go about like? I feel like I've already like done some of the steps. What's some more things I could do to like heal like that feminine energy though, and like release it in a sense? Okay, self care, self care, self care. Damn, that's you real. Can, like, I I told I told, and listen, y'all, this ain't no shade. I told I tell motherfuckers this in their face, okay. I told um, Von Intelligent, I was like, yo, I bet, I swear, I said, I bet if you just put on a clean white tee and a crystal necklace when you do your videos, I bet you'll get more views. That's all I was doing. <laughs> I said, like, just clean yourself up. You a five, look at him. He got a haircut, like, you know what I'm saying? He a five. That's real. Five twenty eight. That's what I've been trying to talk about, the seduction of money. 528. Oh, damn. And it's on the damn screen. And it's on the damn oh, screen. Oh, shit. <laughs> and it's on the screen. What's the, what's on the screen? That's crazy. What's the, what's on the screen? I, I got a song called 528. Yeah. I made this in 2019. What the fuck? That's crazy. As so, we talking about that. So, what, is, what do you mean by 528? So, five, tw five is the number of beauty. 28 is well. Think about it. Most rich niggas got them a young woman, right? That's uh -huh. beautiful. She represents the five energy while he's the 28 energy. If you want to get well, if you want to get well, you got to learn how to look nice, look good. Like I read this book um, by 50 Cent, Get Hard, like Get Rich or Die Trying. And he was talking about, bro, like just iron your white tee. Just tie your shoelaces. Make sure your shoes clean. You'll get taken serious so much more if you just take care of yourself. Your presentation means a lot. It do. Mm, that's real. Your presentation means a lot. So it's like, like just, just shaping yourself up, bro. I've noticed that it when when I'm lazy versus when I take the time to actually just like dress myself up before my video, like they they like that. It's Hell money. Yeah. It's women. Hell yeah. Hell it's yeah. women. They like that. They feel like you care about them because you're you're showing effort. You feel me? But also it's self care within yourself too. When you show that you are taking care of yourself, it means that you feel worthy. You feel me? And the more you're taking care of yourself, the universe gonna keep funding you because you're making yourself better. The universe wants people to get better. That's real. So when you take the first step, the universe will give you the next one. So start mm -hmm. off with just like, I told everybody, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you got a nice little skincare routine. Invest in a skincare routine. Invest in your skin, bro, because you'll be surprised. Y'all all, we all make videos. Mm -hmm. People have literally, Felicia from Friday, told me what made me watch your video was your look first your look first Facts. bro i got invited to an event with with celebrity hairstylists um potential being able to potentially work with some some big hair brands carol's daughter all because of how i look that's first. lit that's yeah. lit I gotta get my shit crocheted in the day for and sure. I'm about to do that like shit. That like your image, self image. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yes. bro. Mm -hmm. Literally, self image, bro. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Like even like go get a pedicure too. Look at your Instagram. Look at the the pictures and the videos where you actually put something on. Like I'll give you an example, right? When you did, I, peep this. I remember your whole fit. What? You had on the green Jordans. Yeah, yeah, I got them on. You right had on now. the yeah, black yeah. and you had on the gloves. Yeah. I remember the fit. Dad, that's what I'm saying. That shit lit as hell. You get what you I'm saying? Dress up. You, gotta, you yeah. dressed up. You made you you was intentional. You made some content. Like you you was like, I feel good. I got my glasses on. Like you know hell what I'm yeah. saying? We remember that because it's energy. We remember mm -hmm. that. So now you tapping into five energy. Now people people like aesthetics. People get drawn to things by their eyes too. 
It's like if you gonna make sure your product look good, you gonna make sure your product look good. Hell yeah. <laughs> you feel hey, me? Like, hey. I'm about to I'm about to take y'all to my place, and I really wanted y'all to come see it because I want y'all to see like I had I didn't even know her birthday. A cat with mm -hmm. 28 energy picked out this apartment for me, and honestly, I was about to go get me like a little townhouse. And she was like, no, that's not fun. You're young. You need to get something exciting that's going to make you want to get up. And you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead. It don't matter what the price is. Let me just go ahead and get me something nice that when I come in here, like, I'm excited to be here. You feel me? Like, you want to make yeah. sure when you get up, like, you like, damn. Like, mm, like damn, I did that. Like, Ready ooh. to work, yo. So it reminds you. <laughs> like, I was watching a video with Gary V, and I got a good idea for us. But I already got the topic and everything. Right, bet, bet so I was talking to, I was still talking to Gary I'm gonna be talking to Gary V. I was watching Gary V. He's an 11 life path cat, so he's really good with you know internet and stuff like that. He was like, if I had the time, I would be streaming 12 hours a day. I said, damn. That's real. Hell I ain't yeah. doing enough. I, and then last night I was like, fuck it, let me go ahead and I watch Leave the World Behind. Y'all watch that? Leave the World Behind yet? Nah, I seen that. Like I ain't see, like I seen the commercial. I never seen it though. Yeah, so I watched that on stream got me a nice little clip and i'm like damn like you just never know where this shit gonna take you it's like you might as well give it your all while you're here you don't want to oh, be God. like you don't want to be like damn like i could i could have went harder like don't be lazy bro not with your dreams yeah hell no don't be lazy with your dreams bro do that shit as much as you can like think kobe mentality kobe mamba mentality no like Win, winning by all means Failure is not an option Treat the day like You might not wake up tomorrow Real shit Exactly oh God, Treat it like you Every might not wake up Every days that I don't want to get up But I be like Man I want this shit too bad bro Like I want this Look 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 at this area I wanted to Don't show them that mm. But um mm. That shit cold I fuck with the post what? The <laughs> Yeah so um There's actually a I didn't know This was my intuition uh -huh. Like I swear Like the intuition be crazy So I was told by RGG people that your painting should be people of influence or people who inspire you. Mm -hmm. I I just was like, oh, this shit look cool. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Didn't fuck around. This nigga a cat. You already know Kobe the horse. Um, Kobe is an 11. He born on the 23rd. I don't, he a dragon. MJ the cat. You feel me? And then I have the lady who painted this. She's a 33 snake. She a 33 life path snake. Mm -hmm. So all of the energy, you know, then you got Kanye over here. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, if I'm going to be on live, I need to have color in the back. Like, it oh, needs God. to be something God. that they can look at. Like, it needs to it needs to be a set. You feel me? Because that's, that's people going to remember that. If, if, if I come out the picture and they see the set, and let's say it's like 10 years from now, and you got a picture of the set, they're going to know the set. Like, oh, that's when Sticks mm -hmm. was going live. You know what I'm saying? So make your make your set memorable too. Make this motherfucker is about to be special as fuck. The shit that we about to talk about, the shit we about to get into, you need to watch this shit. Y'all make sure y'all share this with three people and comment done. Share this shit with three people and comment done. All right. So first things first. What brought y'all? What, what brought y'all out here in Miami? Uh, Lizzie, Jeff, Skinny. Uh, what is it called? Zen and Kush Fest. This nigga said skin. <laughs> <laughs> Zen and Kush Fest, yeah, you know, it's like a perform. perform at this little spiritual event that Lizzie Jeff be setting up. So we about to go ahead and rock the stage for them boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So both of y'all, y'all both performing? Yeah. yeah, for sure. So what you performing? What I'm performing? What's on, or, or we going to keep that hush hush? Uh, they can know. Okay. I was cruising down the street, six deep. Five essences and crystals on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who about you? What you performing? I'm performing three songs, though. But, like, yeah, first song, yeah. I don't care about the fame. Hey. I don't care about no chains. Mm. All this shit be lame. These niggas out here don't got no gain. Yeah, hey, nigga be superficial. Chasing sternal validation. Yeah, they got some issues. Dressing to impress some humans. You was really mental. Hey, she ain't got no mental. She ain't pray by digits. Yeah, just a little song, you feel me? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, we all made music. That's the yeah. best thing about it. What got you into music? Um, just coping with reality. Mm. I just was always, you know, music just helped me cope with reality, pretty much. And you? Changing the world, real nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Changing the world. That's some eleven yeah. shit. Some eleven shit. Yeah. So listen, man. First things first. I ain't gonna hold you. Before we even 
came inside the crib, we were talking about money and respecting money and the relationship with money. And I, I was saying, and it's crazy because when we were talking about it, a taxi came in front of us that said 1128. I'm like, damn, if you think about it, that was the last 28 day. The last 28 day. That was the last 28 day, right? And what I wanted to Man. tell y'all was just, you know, and y'all could tap in. We were talking about money is a woman. Mm-hmm. Money is a woman. And what that means, and I'm teaching you something now. Money is a woman. So what that means is that if you're going to attract more money, how do you attract a woman? Not by doing too much. Not by being like, yeah, yeah, what's good, mom? What's up, mom? They don't like that shit. So I'm going to ask y'all, when it comes to y'all pursuing, and I want y'all to think about it like money, though. So they're going to tell you about them pursuing women, but think about it like money. So when you pursue a woman, how do you use, you a five. When you pursue a woman, how do you usually do it? Um... It's almost like, uh, it's com- it's it's. Go ahead. It's, uh, go ahead. It's really just like your confidence level is like you just gotta really go talk talk to the girl on some stuff to where it's like it's not on it's not you're not talking to them like you chasing them like you want to get something from them. It's almost like you talking to them like you that nigga like exactly. you're talking to them to get to actually know them and not and that I feel like that's what separates you from everybody else like. You don't look at them as is something like that's not that's hard to get on some shit. So it's like you want to be so antsy in the pants type stuff mm-hmm. to where right. you just want to get the girl type stuff because they can peep that they 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 can read that energy off you. I feel like it. Yup. So Thanks. it's like yeah, you just don't want to give them too much because they the, the more you give them is the less you got to bargain with. Like as far as like mm. you keep you giving them everything in the beginning, you kind of don't you kind of just want to. Give them what they need to get so they can want more type stuff. So I'm putting yourself too hard. You yeah. trying too hard, bro. You but if you me? give them all, all your eggs in one time, it's like, what, what else do she want from you? Mm-hmm. Like, you have nothing else to offer, not even energy. Because right. it's not even about money at, 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 at all the time. Sometimes they just want somebody with some good energy. But if you're going to give it all to her, that means it's not even worth nothing anyway. Exactly. Thanks. And, and one thing I'll say, too, is when you, when you, I like how you put it. We got to talk about the fact that. Number one, you shouldn't be chasing shit. <laughs> like, that's the problem. Like, we in this rat race. And think about it when a rat is in that little circle. It's just running and running and running and chasing something, thinking that it's going to get a gift. When really, that's the illusion. The chase is the illusion. Mm-hmm. You thinking that the chase leads to what you want, when in reality, it's never that. It's when you're able to be happy with what you got going on and working on your own purpose that what it is that you chasing starts to chase you. So the thing about it is you let her know that you're interested. You let him know that you're interested because we got women on here too. You let them know you're interested so they can know and keep you on the back of their mind, but you don't do too much. You be like, hey, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? What's good? You let them know, set the intention, you know, make a little contact with them, and then you go about your business. Now, when you're not in their presence is where they fall in love. When you're not in front of them is when they fall in love. You got to allow them to fall in love with you. But a lot of y'all are doing too much that you're causing them to be turned off because it's too much of you. Too much of anything is not good. You get you eat too much cheesecake. The first bite was amazing. But at the sixth bite, you're like, oh, right? Exactly. That's how it is with some of y'all in money, y'all. Doing too much to get it. You feel me? Facts. I got something to say. It's like, first of all, I don't need them. I want them. You feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas got to start looking at yourself like the sun. I don't need the planets. The planets need me. Ooh. Right? So it's like, so it's like I'm at the sun. I'm not worried about going to other planets trying to chase them because you're not going to do nothing but burn that person, a.k.a. burn that connection because you're the sun trying to chase planets. Right? So as the sun, you just need to stay in grounded and you just need to expand. That's all you need to worry about. You need to expand. That's all you need to do. So this is another thing we have to understand, right? People think there's a such thing as positive thoughts and negative thoughts. There's no such thing as negative and positive thoughts, right? Why do why do you think it's so easy for humans to think negative thoughts, right? That's because negative thoughts aren't negative. They're survival thoughts, mm. right? Our mind as humans 
Facts. Our mind as humans are programmed and work based on survival. So think about whenever you try to have an opportunity, whether it's a girl, whether it's a man, whether it's a business opportunity, think about when those so-called negative thoughts come. Those negative thoughts are trying to protect you. Oh, now nah, you shouldn't reach out to that person first. Oh, now nah, you shouldn't take that risk. You shouldn't go get that money. Those are just survival thoughts. So you expand past being human and you become a god once you understand that I'm not living in survival. Bitch, I'm living in thrival mode. Right? You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's about. You got to understand your programming as a human and realize I'm not living in survival no more. Because understand it like this. If you take a thousand shots and you miss 700 and you make 300, yo, you still won 300 times. Take your focus off of the fact that you lost 700 times and put your focus on the fact that you won 300 times. If you take zero shots, you won zero times. So I'm not in it to because I'm not in this because oh I care about losing yo if I do 50 streams and one of the streams blow up well guess what you one won. of the streams blow up any nigga can be on this stream right now hating like oh Vaughn you had 49 streams to do ass bitch you still in your mama house you ain't never had a stream to do good you see what I'm saying so it's like at the end of the day you gotta focus on your evolution as a human let's get it exactly I love that you know and the thing about it is that what people think is that success is supposed to be win 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 Michael Jordan lost way more times than he won but his wins were so big you don't even remember the fucking losses that's the thing yeah. once you realize that if you keep shooting shots don't nobody count the ones you miss i promise you because when you win the shit be so big it turn your losses into wins dang Facts. come on now Facts. because think about it right if i if i missed like, let's say I made all these songs, right? I made 100 songs, but the 101 song was the one that blew up. When that 101 song blow up, all those people that found that one song are going to go to the other 100. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, you ain't even really lose for real. You thinking that you lose. It's perspective. My nigga, you ain't lose. You got better. The fuck? You as feel a, me? As a boss, you got to create an opportunity out of everything, right? See, we're bosses. We don't complain about things. We don't have certain circumstances happen to us, and now we want to be a victim. That's what victims do. Bosses, we make opportunities at everything. So let's say if failure did happen. Failure is not... Failure does not mean, oh, you failed. Stop. That means you failed. Go this way. Ooh. You failed. Go that way. Keep going. It never said stop. You just got to change your direction. So you actually need to like failure because that is change. Success and failure is both change. So that's why I don't care about the W's and L's because at least something is changing. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. Yo. Make sure everybody can see this. Yo. Hey man, y'all drop some emojis if this shit fire. Let me tell you, this shit historical. Hey, spam it up, let's go. Y'all drop some emojis. Hey, spam it up, let's go. What the? Boy, what the? You got hit like this. Oh, what the? This man, look. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, listen, y'all. Y'all make sure when y'all do y'all streams, y'all get this stream deck because you could put like little sound effects. I ain't got oh, my yeah, shit yeah, hooked yeah, up. That's hard, that's but if hard, I had a hard. if I had a sound effect, I gotta what put the, an AA on mine. If yeah, yeah, yeah. if I had a sound effect, my sound effect would be bumba clap. I'm telling you, baby, <laughs> it'd be bumba clap. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. If y'all are on YouTube and you want any of them to answer a question, or you want us to answer a question, and you want to put it up, all you gotta do is super chat. Only on YouTube because we can't see y'all shit. If y'all want to talk to us, you got to come to YouTube. My people on YouTube, if you want us to answer any questions, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and put the question in Super Chat or whatever, all right? So, next thing we for the move to, it's Mercury Retrograde. You feel me? So, what that means is that we got to get rid of the old, right? So, what do y'all got to say about the people that's not letting go of the old, even though the universe is telling them, hey, we got something new for you. How do how do people let go of that old version, that old self? How can we move on from that? Because some people are so attached to that. You want to go first? Yeah, I mean, how to let go of the old. Um, it's like you just got to realize, okay, where was you before this new? The thing that you got to let go, where was you at before that? So it's like, okay... I like like me in in the example. I just got out of a, I just got out of a bad relationship around last November September type stuff. Got out of a bad relationship, but it's like I wanted better for myself. You know, I I just realized like I felt like at that time that was my highest. So it's like if I leave this, either it's gonna go down or it's gonna go up. But it's like I have to realize like letting go of the old the old and all of that negative that 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 I was going through was bringing me down spiritually only because I was holding on to a lot of pain, a lot of insecurities and stuff like that. But when I let all of that stuff go with her, boom, that's when I blew up on my on the spiritual rap stuff. Cause it's like all of that stuff was I was more lighter. 
Mm. I, I just had to get through the healing process. So it's like... They said they want you to come closer. Oh, yeah. I had to get through the healing process type stuff. So as I heal myself, you know, I was able to heal other people. How Hurt people can't heal, help other people. Hurt people really can just hurt other people unless mm. they really... Unless unless they just going through something to where they just want to help other people, but that's that y'all know the saying hurt people hurt people. So yep. I feel like if you want to get to that, I just feel like just take an example for me to get to that to to let go of that old because it's it's a lot of new that the universe got got waiting for you. That's facts. Yeah. That's facts. Hey, let me touch on that. So what was the question again? <laughs> what was the question? You gotta go, about, gotta okay, go. so it's about um, basically talk to people who are struggling to let go of the old. They're letting their old habits come in. They're choosing comfort over higher. Okay, so how you let go of your old self? I'm gonna break this down step by step. First of all, you need to stop <laughs> thinking about the past and attaching yourself to past trauma, right? So, for instance, I give an example, right? You gotta matter of fact, before I even give this example, let me say this, right? Every time you think about the past, you have to understand that all is mine. When you think about the past, let's say if you with your homies, you talking about, hey, bro, y'all remember when we was struggling, we was fucked up down bad. You're putting yourself emotionally and in a vibrational sense back into that time when you was yep. effed up struggling. Yeah, so now right. that's why your life is still looking like it's still struggling. Or like, you know, when you, you, you've you been working so hard and then you just at that point to where it's like, dang, like I'm trying to break through. I'm trying to mm -hmm. break through. It's because you keep thinking about the past and attaching yourself back to an old person that was struggling. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example, right? Two years ago, I was sleeping in my car. I was effed up. I was serving at the smoke shop or whatever. Now, mind you, right? I'm just saying this right now. When I'm with my homies, I don't talk about how I was struggling back in the past. Nigga, I don't give a fuck how I was struggling back in the past. That person is dead. I don't even need to talk about that shit no more. I don't even remember it. You feel what I'm saying? When I wake up in the morning, that's not the first thing on my mind. Understand that life is about what you focus on. So understand this. If your life is looking like poverty right now, I can tell you right now that what you're focusing on is poverty. Right. You need to put your focus onto abundance, put your focus on the things that make you happy, put your focus on the things that you are grateful for. That's what you need to focus on building. Abundance might not look like a million dollars in a mansion. Abundance might look like, OK, cool. I'm going to fill out this new job application. I'm going to start this side hustle and then I'm going to actually find my business that I want to do. Put your focus on building, my nigga. If it don't lead to more money, more health more knowledge and more love, then I'm not partaking in this shit. You see what I'm saying? If you with your homies and all they talking about is drugs, right? Sleeping with random bitches they don't even, not bitches, but random <laughs> women they don't even know, right? Random women they don't even know. They just talking about shit that just like broke nigga shit. Just broke people shit. Where the, like, not even where the money at, but where the abundance at. Like, the is, can, can, can we buy some land? Motherfuckers don't even understand that you can literally buy land for $500 to $1,000. So when people say, let's buy land, motherfuckers think that means like, oh, that shit gonna be like $10,000, $20,000. Bruh, it's cheaper to buy land than it is houses. Now, that's a whole different topic, right? But that's what I gotta say. Stop thinking about the past. When you think about the past, that puts you back there as well. So listen, everything he's saying accurate as fuck like i felt that shit to my core i know y'all felt that shit what i want to say about choosing old shit over new shit is understand that you still get the same shit period every time that you choose to be comfortable understand that that comfort is awaiting more pain when you don't choose to break outside of the box and do something new, you are robbing yourself of an opportunity to grow. You are robbing yourself of an opportunity to make more money. You are robbing yourself an opportunity to live the same fucking reality that you've been asking about. The problem is, is that when the universe brings you that new opportunity, you too pussy. You too scary. Survival. You too survival mindset. You can't think beyond this moment. You got to learn how to think beyond this moment in order to survive beyond this moment. Because guess what? You want to be in this moment, but you also want to know what you want to experience within this moment. Does that make sense? So, Long term. Exactly. So it's like understanding, like, I'm going to think right now. I'm going to be grateful for right now. But being grateful for right now is what's going to is what's going to lead you to having what you want. Fact. You got to stop entertaining. the. You already know how it go. You already know where it leads. You've been down this road before. It's comfortable. I'm going to need you to break outside of that box because guess what? Let me tell you something. Miracles are in the unknown. They're not in the common. They're not in the familiar. It's in the unknown. So if you want a miracle to happen, you need to stop being scared. 
and walk into the unknown. Make money work for you. Like I feel like a lot of people, y'all, people live in survival mindsets, and people want to like save as much money as possible when they want to have. Money. There's nothing wrong with saving money if you know you about to put that money to work later. But it's like, for instance, right? If I got two thousand dollars in my bank account, let's say some little ass shit like two thousand dollars, right? I got two thousand dollars in my bank account. I'm going to look at my bank account. A survival mindset person is like, okay, I'm going to keep this just in case I need this for an emergency or I need this for bills. Man, fuck all that. What can I do with this $2,000? Like, how can I make this $2,000 into $4,000, $6,000? Like, because it's just sitting there. Like, that money need to do something. That money need to be working. Like, I can put that to an investment. So, it don't matter what it is. It could be an investment. Let's say somebody in a higher position than me, right? And let's say they offering coaching. Yo, I'm going to get that coaching from that dude so I can be in a higher position than him one day. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's, it's little things like that. You got to invest in yourself no matter what it is exactly and that's the thing when you have people that you can learn from let me tell you something the reason why i can be greater than kanye west is because i have kanye west does that make sense the reason why kobe can be greater than michael jordan or anybody that's coming up can be the greatest possible is because he has kobe bryant and michael jordan to look to the reason why michael jackson was able to be better than james brown was because he had james brown do you get what I'm saying? Evolution. You, you got to learn how to... See, a smart person will learn from their mistakes. A wise person will learn from somebody else's mistakes. If I just saw you go down that road and that motherfucker burnt your ass like I'm not going down that shit. I'm not going down that shit. So what y'all got to understand is be smart. Be wise. You already know it. And here's another thing I want to say too. Trust your intuition even if you don't have evidence. Your intuition is a part of a universal mind that is able to see things that you cannot see. Remember, you are in a human body, so you're able to only see from this perspective. But let me tell you something. This perspective, a lot of times, actually stirs us away from the true vision. Because these eyes, let me tell you something. The way that this society gets us is through illusions. Look at the word illusion. It starts with eye. Look at magic tricks. When magic tricks happen, it's to the eye. So y'all got to learn how to trust what you feel because you can't always trust I. You get what I'm saying? Come on now. Back. You feel me? So it's like we got to be smarter. We got to make better decisions. Like, let me tell y'all something. Let's talk about karma. <laughs> let's talk about, let's talk about. Hey, no, that's funny because you know why you talk about that. That's too funny. Hey, that's too funny. That's too let's funny. Let's talk about karma. You feel me? Karma. People, some people say karma's a bitch. You feel me? And I feel like if you're saying karma's a bitch, that's probably because you're on the other side of it. Facts. You feel me? Karma is usually always serving me. And the reason why I say this is because I know what I'm doing. Think about karma. Karma is based off of the number eight. What goes around comes around, right? So the thing about it is that that also means you got to be careful what you do with your money. Because whatever you do with your money, it goes around, comes around. If you put it in a stream, it's going to grow. If you take it from the stream... It's going to keep getting taken. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you're pouring into the stream. You're pouring into the sea. And be careful who you hang around because other people can affect your money energy. Believe it or not. I've been around people who are so lack-minded that when I'm with them, it's like I don't get as many sales when I'm with them. Facts. So you got to be careful who you hang around because some people could be fucking up your business. Hey, it's just like it's just like a girl. You can't have every nigga around your wife, my nigga. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because money is a mother. Money is a woman. You feel what I'm saying? So just like we were talking about in the beginning, it's like a lot of niggas don't get a lot of money because a lot of niggas have women problems. You feel what I'm saying? Like you can't be out here like just like a woman, right? You got to treat yourself like a son. Like, if you're the sun, it's your job to expand your power and to shine on all the planets, not to chase the planets. If you out here chasing planets, nigga, you gonna burn the connection that you got with the damn planets. You feel what I'm saying? Just like if you out here chasing women, you gonna burn the connection that you got with women. If you out here chasing money, you gonna burn the connection that you got with money. So, understand that what we saying is not to sit on your ass and think you just about to get money. No, what we saying is... Put in the work, but stop stressing over getting money. You stressing so fucking... Like, you think, like, a nigga that got so much money is, like, really stressing about money, always thinking about... Nah, like, we... It's just, like... And I was having a talk with bro. Bro, I forgot what his name was. I was having a talk with bro, and he was like, yo, I be so peaceful sometimes, but, like, bro, like, when I be so peaceful, I be getting, like, less goal-driven, and, like, I don't be feeling mm. like completing my goals when I'm peaceful. And I told him, like, this, I said, bro, straight up... That's not peace, that's I, comfort. I, I said, facts, that's comfort, but I said, bro, like, for real, you thinking too much. Like, you need to stop <laughs> even looking at it like that. Like, 
for one. Me, I'm the type of nigga to where it's like, I'm not looking at my goals like, oh, I gotta get it. Bro, I'm just expanding. Like, yeah. the type of nigga I am, I'm gonna just always accomplish some shit without trying, right? right. So it's Effortless. like, I'm gonna I'm be relaxed and I'm gonna be peaceful, but I'm gonna still get shit done. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's how you view yourself. Everything is about how you see yourself. And I told y'all this in the car too. I told you this yesterday as well too. It's like, you gotta look at how you, how you view yourself will determine a lot of things. Like, you cannot look at yourself. Hold on. You cannot look at yourself. What was I about to say? You cannot be a rich man if you still see yourself as a poor man. Right now, everybody on these lives, right? If you got invited to go to an event with a whole bunch of billionaires, not millionaires, not little nigga money. We talking about billionaire money, right? If you went to an event to go to a whole bunch of billionaires and everybody got, they, everybody got money in that room, how would you feel walking into that room? Would you walk into that room with anxiety? Would you walk into that room feeling like, damn, like, should I even be here? Should I be? See, that's a character flaw. That's an image flaw. Why are you even walking into a room with just human beings, to be real with you, even feeling like you lesser than somebody because they got more money than you? So now because you feel like you lesser than people that got more money than you, now this world, this physical reality will always project that image to you. Now you wondering why, nigga, you can't pay your fucking bills. Now you wondering why you getting laid off on your job. Now you wondering why no matter what you happen, nigga, you could go hit a damn 40 band lick and now all of a sudden, nigga, your ass got booked and now you got to pay 50 bands, 60 bands back to the court. No matter what you do, whether it's an illegal scheme, no matter what you do, whether it's an illegal scheme or a legal scheme, you can never get to that level that you want to get to. It's because you still view yourself as a broke nigga internally. Anything, everything will change once now you change how you view yourself. And it starts with your subconscious mind, right? That's why I say, like, especially when you have kids, make sure that they're not watching no broke ass movies when they're younger. Make sure, bro, you make think sure. Drug and it's cool facts. And, shit. and Minutes, make sure. Fact, that's what I'm saying. Like, make sure they're not watching no movies that's teaching them to look at people that got money like it's bad. Because most people don't ever have money because. Subconsciously, when they was a kid, they viewed money like it was a bad thing. When you was in your, and I know everybody been through you this shit. Money is the root to all evil. Look, exactly. That's false as hell, my nigga. That's false as hell, right? The lack of it, money, evil as fuck. Ignorance is the root to all evil. It's Ooh. ignorance, right? It's not money. Ignorance, my nigga. Niggas be dumb, right? So anyway, P game, right? P game. <laughs> <laughs> we talking shit. I can't say that for last shit though. Hey, so look, P game. Oh yeah, that's hard. That's hard. All right, so P game, right? Boom. Damn, I lost my train of thought. Fuck. You said go ahead. You said ignorance is the yeah. Ignorance, ignorance is the is is the is the root of all evil. But I was about to say something about oh uh, fuck. I just lost my train of thought. I was talking about seven years. You get oh so P game right. Everybody been through it. You being your you a little kid. You and your uh, mama crib or whatever. Boom. And then you hear your people's talking about some like oh you know have you ever heard been in a conversation about eating fucking ramen noodles? Why the fuck? <laughs> like why am I like hold on? This ain't me. So now we start changing up your programming. That's just one way to change up your programming. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I love that shit. I love that yeah. shit. Changing your programming, it deals with consistency, too. A lot of y'all motherfuckers, not consistent. Facts. Repetition is the mother of all learning. If you want to be successful, you got to be consistent in whatever it is that you're doing. You got to understand that most people don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like, I'm going to be real with you. I've been with super successful people. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They just keep doing shit. That's the oh problem. You're, oh not, they, you're not finagling this shit. Like, that's the thing. We athletes, you feel me? And hey, as an athlete, do you good. So as an athlete, what we do is... We try to figure out an answer. We try to figure something out. We don't sit here and just allow the other team to beat us. We, nigga, if the pick and roll ain't working, try something else. <laughs> if that ain't working, nigga, try something else. We're always looking to try something else. The problem with y'all is that if something don't work one way, you're like, oh, okay, that just don't work. No. you. If that door's closed, you knock on the next one. If that door closed, you go find a fucking window. That's the thing. Y'all really don't be hungry enough for me. And that's what pisses me off. Like, there's people who don't have the access, the resources that we have, and they're still getting shit done. Bro has 335,000 on YouTube, and you've only been recording from a phone. Yeah, thanks. I'm about to get the camera though. Yeah, I know, but but yeah, yeah, that yeah, still yeah, needs to be yeah. from a phone. And you over here, my phone, my iPhone, not good enough. My I, bro, it's people out here recording on Samsungs right now. Like, yeah, I got, like, I got three hundred forty thousand, and I didn't even post a real video. I got all those from Shorts. Exactly. So it's like y'all. Let me teach you. Let me teach you something about perspective. A lot of y'all so, make things more difficult than it actually is. Thanks. A lot of y'all make yourselves think that you got to put in more work than you actually do. A lot of y'all make yourselves feel like you need to spend more money than you actually do. Mm. A lot of y'all are overqualified. 
for what it is that you want to experience, but you're the one limiting yourself. The moment that you realize the limitations that you've set for yourself, you'll be like, damn, a lot of y'all say y'all don't have enough time. I don't believe that. You're not making time because a lot of times if you sit and look at the time, you'll see what you're doing. You're wasting time. Okay. You'll be on your, how, what's your watch hours look like on your phone? How much time could you take from that? A lot of these tasks that you gotta, gotta get done can be really done in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. But you're distracted, you're not focused. That's the difference between the Michael Jordans and the Kobe Bryants of the world. I'm gonna recommend y'all a book. Relentless by Tim Grover and Winning by Tim Grover. Y'all need to understand what focus really is. Thanks. Focus. That shit died, but...